It feels like it happens almost every year. You get that first warm day of the season, so you grab your shorts out of the drawer and try to squeeze them on, only to find you're still hanging on to your winter bod. Well, spring is the perfect time of year to get your health and fitness in check, so we're gonna chat to a few people to help us do just that on today's Where You Live. So whether your goal is to get strong for biking, hiking, or climbing season, or maybe you just wanna look really good in your new bikini, there are lots of folks here in the Sea to Sky that can help get you on track and feeling good. So I'm here at Breathe, which is a new fitness center here in Squamish, and I'm excited to be here with Vanessa, who's the manager as well as one of the instructors here at Breathe. So Hi. tell me about Breathe. Well, Breathe is a non-judgmental space that people can come to work on their fitness and health goals. Um, it'll be a safe environment for everyone to come and join in any type of activity that they're wanting to partake in. Cool. So what kind of classes do you do? Tell me a bit about those. Well, we have a large amount of classes on our schedule. We have yoga, forest yoga, which is a different type of yoga. Um, we've got the Boulder Movement Collective class, which is very interesting. We have HIT, aerobics, fitness, weight training, bar, and Pilates. Wow. So, so it kind of runs the whole gambit from like super high energy kind of classes to like a lower kind of slower energy. Yes, there's something for everyone. Awesome. And I understand too that a lot of these classes, if not most or all of them, take place in a hot room. So tell yes. me a bit about that. So we work out in an infrared sauna. Uh, the temperature is usually around 35 degrees. We do have some unheated classes too. Okay. But the infrared sauna has a large amount of benefits. Toxicity in the system is a large one. Um, so the amount of toxins that we come into contact on a day-to-day -day basis is astronomical. Mm -hmm. You go into the infrared sauna, you're going to sweat those out. Mm -hmm. um, it all is also very good for arthritis, Lyme disease, which is one that I've just recently learned from a naturopath here in Squamish. And um, it's great for the skin, cellulite, weight loss. Um, it's also very good for respiratory conditions as well. Wow, yeah. so many benefits of working out in so an infrared sauna. Like yeah, <laughs> I know. It's amazing. Google it, it's amazing. Yeah. What is your favorite class to teach? Um, I love teaching Pilates. It's getting lots of good feedback. Um, another one that I'm really loving, enjoying is Fit Flow, and that's uh, a yoga and Pilates class that I've formulated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what kind of equipment do you use or what kind of moves do you do in, in those classes? Um, well, so we do use weighted bars. We also have dumbbells. Uh, we have Pilates balls, which I can make some really mean moves with those ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got blocks. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. I think that covers it. And uh, yeah, we do weight training moves, um, mm -hmm. easier controlled movements uh, for the Pilates. So mm -hmm. it's really good for everyone from young to old to come to a Pilates class because we do get the heart rate up, but we also come down to the mat and do some more... Uh, yeah, like toning moves, slower okay. controlled movements. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like muscle conditioning. So yes. say you're a climber and you're looking to condition your muscles a bit for that, you can do some moves that strengthen totally. the arms, like with yes. bells and I bars am, and, and things. And, and lots of movements where they are doing multiple moves. So like we'll be holding our legs in a certain pose, leaning forward, doing reverse flies, working the shoulders, working the back, as well as working the legs. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. Are you noticing that it's getting busier because it's springtime? Are a lot of folks starting to come out trying to get fit for summer? Yes. Well, we are new in Squamish, so we have had a lot of interest and lots of people coming to check us out. But we have had a lot of people coming in getting ready for that summer bod. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any last minute tips maybe you want to give to our viewers at home for how to get fit for summer? And yeah. Hang on I would that? have to say uh, creating realistic goals for yourself and everything in moderation. It's key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to checking out some classes here at Breathe. It's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. <laughs> it sounds challenging, but, you know, it's, it's great to have a nice variety of classes to get yes. out there. And I think of having a variety of classes is good for people, too, because it keeps your interest level Cross up. Cross training. Mm -hmm. Cross training is key. You've got to stretch it out. You've got to do the restorative classes as well as doing the fitness high intensity training. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, coming up after the break, I'm headed up to Whistler where I'm going to chat to a few health and lifestyle coaches. They're going to help me get my diet on track and uh, also give me some fun tips and tricks for that. And that's coming up after the break.
Welcome back to the show. Well, they say that abs are made in the kitchen, and if that's the case, then why exercise all the time if you're not gonna see the results through a healthy diet as well as your exercising routine? So I thought it would be a good idea to talk to a few professionals about ways that we can improve our diet so that we can stay healthy. So I'm here in Whistler with Mark and Belinda. Welcome Hi. to the show. Hi, you Thank you, now, great to be here. Yeah, and you guys are the resident kind of health coaches of Whistler, or that's how I like to think of you. Um, so I wanted to pick your brain a little bit today um, about having a healthy diet and maybe some tips and tricks that can help our viewers at home. What do you think about Absolutely. that? Absolutely, sounds That'd be great. Good. Awesome. So what do you think, in your opinion, is the biggest struggle that people face when they decide that they want to go on a diet or lose some weight? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the, the biggest struggle for people is they're, they're caught in that mindset and that concept that you need to, to eat less and, and exercise more. Um, what we've found in actual fact is it's more about the foods that you're eating and how often that you're eating that's, that's actually um, where you really gain the results from. Mm -hmm. And do you have any kind of good little tips that you could give, ways that people can easily just switch things up just to have a bit of a more healthier diet? Yeah, absolutely. Look, we, we really believe it's important to have fun with food. So we don't want to be depriving ourselves. It's all about getting really good nutrition, dense nutrition into our meals. And that applies to exercise as well. We want to be doing, doing things that we really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what kind of uh, easy ways can people get a, a denser nutrition to, that, to help their diet? Yeah, I guess a, a good way um, to start with is um, dropping coffee, dropping any processed foods and alcohol is a, a great start for people. Uh, it get, then mm -hmm. gets you thinking more about simple whole foods. Okay. Well, see, that's right off the top. Those are like three easy things that you can do that really make a difference. Yeah. Um, and you guys are the pros, you're the professionals. So is there something you can recommend that perhaps people haven't thought of to do or they would just wouldn't know that they could do this and how beneficial it could be to having a healthier lifestyle? Oh, wow. I mean, there are so many things, but really I think it's all about focusing on quality over quantity. So taking, taking the foods that you love and even if they're indulgences, you know, we don't want to be depriving ourselves. So enjoy those still, but just, just consume them mindfully, really enjoy them and, uh, and monitor the, the quantity you're having. Um, so yeah, like I said, just having fun with it. You know, we love food, we love to cook and uh, we don't want to be depriving ourselves. Mm -hmm. I like your train of thought. Because <laughs> nobody wants, here, exactly, <laughs> you want to balance, but you don't want to be depriving yourself because it seems like that's when people really crash. And Absolutely. They, it's they really they the 80-20 rule, it. right? You know, 80% mm -hmm. good, 20% have some fun with it. Right? Okay. What are the, the most common struggles that you see with your clients in terms of, um, you know, sticking to a healthy diet or lifestyle? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things is people often take the pleasure out of food. So um, as soon as they think about healthy eating, they think about dry raw foods. They think about um, eating dinner as well without any sauces and uh, all of those little bits and pieces that actually give you a, a lot of pleasure. They make you feel full. They make you, um, they help you in, to enjoy your food. So making sure that you're still, whatever it is that you're eating, you're still getting pleasure out of the, the food that you're eating. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's a lot of recipes these days that are so tricky. You know, you're still getting that, the satisfaction of maybe something you craved, you're just making it differently with different ingredients that are better for you. Absolutely, healthy swaps, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, what are the biggest inspirations that you see when after you're, you know, you've helped someone and they're feeling healthy, they're feeling good, they've lost some weight, they're on track, what are the inspirations that you see? Yeah, well, I mean, for me, it's the, it's the guys that I get to work with and often you see guys have really devoted their life to their career and their family, and it's their health that's fallen by the wayside. So when I get to take a guy from a place where he's just not living in his optimum health, um, and, and we can increase his energy, we can get him feeling confident and loving his body, um, putting himself first for the first time in a long time, it's amazing the spillover effects, how that, how that shows up in relationships, in parenting, in the workplace. So I, I just love seeing that. Mm -hmm. How about you, Belinda? Yeah, for me, it's uh, the exhausted, depleted mums. They're the ones that come and they don't have anything else to give and they, they feel lost, they've lost themselves. Um, they step into this journey and they gain incredible energy. They've got the energy to run around with their kids again. They feel like themselves again. Like that, that really fills my heart and is the greatest inspiration for me nice. and they're the driver for what we do. Great. Well, I was hoping maybe since we're here in a kitchen <laughs> that yeah. you could perhaps show me a quick little recipe, something that, that's fun and easy and good for you. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've got a, a smoothie mm. bowl, so okay, this. smoothie bowl, awesome. All right, yeah. jump in. Okay. <laughs> so uh, what do we have? So what we have to get started. So we have a blender. Um, we have some ice. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got about six ice cubes. Uh, we have some water as well. So it's just ice. Uh, ice and water mixed together. Okay. Um, we have some protein powder as well. So this one, we swap between a, a whey-based and a, a dairy-free shake. So this one has rice and pea protein, mm -hmm. um, all natural ingredients. It has prebiotics, probiotics, um, di live digestive enzymes, as well as a whole lot of vitamins and minerals. So it's a great way just to provide yourself with a, a lot of energy throughout the day. Mm -hmm. I guess it would be good to make sure that if you're going to do a smoothie or a shake that you're using a product that is good for you. <laughs> I think there's probably a lot of things on the market that have a lot of sugar and yeah. maybe not so good ingredients. So I guess just being careful about that would be important. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, and we've got chocolate. <laughs> yeah, so this one, this one's a chocolate shake. So really, really nice. So all we do is, is add the protein powder, um, throw a banana in there as well. Super, super simple. Um, and then we blend it. Okay. Right. Now the nice thing about this is it's super convenient and fast. And this is a, we use a complete meal replacement shake. You can have that as it is. It's a really nice complete meal. But it, you know it's fun to mix it up sometimes and and get a little creative. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and we can add all kinds of things to this. We also want to be feeling kind of purposefully. So, you know, if, if you're active, if you're an athlete, you can have a big day on the ski hill or on the mountain bike. This is a great way to add in additional calories to, uh, to your breakfast. Mm -hmm. We're getting high protein, really nice way to, to fuel for that day and uh, keep the energy high. Great. And what are we going to add? Uh, so this is some natural muesli. So there's no additives, no preservatives, um, and a great mix of, of nuts and seeds. So just a, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of fiber. Mm -hmm. So we just put this on the side and it makes it look pretty. <laughs> the kids love this as well. Perfect. Yeah. And then just to top it, I'm going to pop some extra banana on top as well. So great for just for um, some extra fuel, um, but also great flavor as well. Awesome. Wow. Oh. That's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for showing me the smoothie bowl and also for all your tips and, and advice today. We take it to heart. I've learned some things that I'm going to apply to myself in my own life. But um, I think, you know, having health coaches is great. And what you guys do is um, wonderfully inspiring to a lot of our locals here in Whistler. Thank, so thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having us yeah. on. Thank you so much for having us. No problem. So having a health coach is just one of the ways that can help keep you motivated and healthy on your health improvement and diet journey. So it's something that you could always look into. Coming up after the break, I'm gonna be headed up to Pemberton to meet with a personal trainer who's gonna help me kick my fitness routine into high gear and keep it going. That's after the break. Welcome back to the show. So I've decided to come up to Pemberton because I wanted to try a different kind of fitness routine. And it's brought me here to Kafuka Fitness, which is located right across from the barn in downtown Pemberton. And I'm joined by Jess, who's one of the founders and a trainer here at Kafuka. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. So tell me a bit about Kafuka. What's it all about? Well, Kafuka Fitness, uh, we brought together between myself and Lindsay May, my partner. And uh, Kafuka means evolve, so in Swahili. So it's all about your personal evolution is our tagline. So we have um, two studios. So one is a personal training studio. Most of that is small group training. Um, it's really great because you get that social aspect. Um, and then we also have Kafuka Collective where we have all of our group fitness classes. Mm -hmm. So you're one of the trainers here. Yep. What's your favorite class? It kind of depends on the day. Um, spin classes are fun when I feel like I need a really good sweat. Work hard, climb some hills, get some good sprints, challenge your brain. Um, pound is another really fun class. It's with weighted drumsticks. So when you want to have, I know it's kind of let yourself go and just do your thing. And it's called a rock out workout. It's really fun. Um, and then uh, boot camp style class I love because you get that combination of um, doing that strength kind of workout. Plus you can throw in some cardio intervals and you get a good sweat and feel strong when you're done. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to be starting to do some boot camps 
outside. We are. We are doing uh, some beach boot camp workouts starting May 1st at uh, One Mile Lake. So we'll have classes six days a week, which is super fun to get everybody Keep mm -hmm. everybody moving, but you can still go play outside and get your workout in. Absolutely. Well, it's that time of year. Are you noticing that because it's springtime, people are inquiring more or coming out more, trying to just get their fitness level up to that next level? Kind of depends. I find more from a personal training level. People like that are a bit more focused in that side. When it comes to group fitness stuff, people start to tend to try and find that balance between inside and outside. Um, so it's just trying to keep people motivated to stay stay within that group um, dynamic and keep them their fitness up. Because what happens is September rolls around and they're like, why did I stop? <laughs> Everything hurts. Yeah. So it's just trying to keep things really fun and keep people moving to continue on mm -hmm. their workouts through the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a good time of year to be you know, keeping up with your fitness and going to the classes because you want to be as fit as possible when you start doing more of your summer activities like biking and hiking. You want to roll in feeling strong, I would totally. imagine. Absolutely, it's nice when you can keep up when you're climbing up hills or beat your friends up the hill. Um, mm -hmm. But it also just helps prevent injury when it comes down to it. If you're strong, mm -hmm. you're more likely to stay injury free for the summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was kind of hoping that maybe today you could show me a few moves to help me work up to get more fit for hiking and biking this summer. Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, head over towards the weights and medicine balls and we'll play around. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'm hanging onto this heavy medicine ball here. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna do some lunges. They're good for your quads on the front of your legs, hamstrings on the back, and your butt as well. Keep you strong for pedaling up hills on your mountain bike. Uh, so what you're gonna do, hold the ball in front, chest is nice and open, and then you're gonna take a step back with one leg. And then you're gonna rotate over the front just to add a little extra in there. Back to center, come back up, switch legs. Go back the other way. There you go, <laughs> rotate over the front. Come back up. Repeat those about 10 per side. 10. 10. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep going, get a little sweat, get that little rotation. Oh, you can really Good. feel it, yeah. And you just want to make sure that your knee um, is over top of your ankle on the front. And the then medicine ball definitely helps. adds to yeah. this move. <laughs> and then come up, push up through the heel just to help get the backside okay. fired up. They require a bit of balance too, so having some, a focal point helps. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, we'll do one more. One more? Yeah. <laughs> Good, and then come back up. Uh, we can set these guys down. Okay. Um, I like adding some plyometrics in just because it gets your heart rate up and it just gets your body used to impact, especially if you're like hiking downhill, um, if you're um, just any of those little like cardio bursts as well. Mm -hmm. um, so when we're gonna do just a little squat jump. <laughs> okay, and then to add a little extra in, you can pause at the bottom and you can do a couple little pulses and then jump. So pulse, pulse, jump. Good. Pulse, I feel like this pulse. would be good if you're doing lots of hiking. Yeah. Yeah. Get used to pushing up. Whew, I'm already a little bit of burn. <laughs> good. <Yeah. laughs> and jump. Good. Cool. So there are a couple for your legs and then you can kind of expand from there, but that gets you covered down there. Um, push ups are another one I like. This gets your upper body strong. Um, if you have any shoulder stuff, even just lying on your back, doing a chest press with a couple weights mm -hmm. is another alternative to that. Good to build up the arms for um, stand-up paddleboarding. Yes, it's totally another popular yeah. sport in this area. Totally, and sometimes we forget about our upper body too, mm -hmm. so it's good to add some upper body stuff in as well. Awesome, well thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate that. <laughs> Might be a little sore tomorrow <laughs> from those few couple moves, so I really appreciate having you on the show today. Awesome. Yeah. So joining a fitness class, improving your diet, or just getting outside and enjoying the activities that you love are all really awesome steps to take in bringing your health and fitness to the next level this spring so that you can have an epic summer. And there's so many people here in the Sea to Sky willing to help you do it. If you enjoyed today's show, you can always check out more of our videos on YouTube or Facebook. For Shaw TV, Sea to Sky, I'm Christy Alexich. Have fun out there.